new light in the room right now we have a fresh new desktop brought to you by d-dub himself coming through with a heavy little birthday gift and the past couple days have been insane i have been surfing by myself without a camera no friends and no camera it has been incredibly weird and i feel like a couple good nuggets rolled through that should have been caught on film but it's been amazing to just be tuning myself in with myself and just doing what I love with no cameras and with nobody around. I feel like you have so much more time to not only think inside and grow, but to knock stuff out because you're not trying to capture each and every little second. But before we jump into this video, breaking down all of the gear that I'm going to be rocking for the 2021 season, I got to show some love to anybody who has made any orders from me because the support is the one of the only ways that I keep this whole thing going and it means so much to me. Not only just the stickers, but the new merch. I think we got a couple of these hats left in stock. And I have been clearing out my closet and trying to make space for the new gear. And I always have like almost brand new stuff that's barely been used or that's a couple years old that's still in mint condition. And I try to do my best to give back to you guys. And I feel like throwing it up on my website for as cheap as I can just so that I can organize and have all the orders ready to ship out to you guys is the best way. And I feel like you guys have been stoked I have thrown up so much sick gear recently that you guys picked up and I'm showing some love to everybody right now. So we're starting this off with Chris Plum, Chase Carl, Tyler Anderson, Kalen Saunders, Hunter Normandin, Cody Roy, Oscar Diaz, McLean Dudley, Chris Bongay, Cameron Gibbons, Garrett Warner, Jason Snell, Sean Weishart, Sean O'Connor, Grant Donovan, Scott Miller, Brent Moran, Matt Makasadu, Eric Copeman, Sage LaMountain, Stephen Geist, Shane Carroll, James Langan, Jenna Pomeroy, Jeremy Hartman, Tayton Vaughn, Raymond Leal, John Vega, Adrian Polanco, Chuck White, Tyler Thompson, John Huney, Robert Berrieve, Sam Bufo, Kevin Campbell, Andrew Greer, Dan Sullivan, Mark Parsahan, Anthony Combs, Steve Bryce, Jacob Wolosik, Corinda K. Dippo, and Keenan Williams. You guys literally make this thing happen. So thank you guys so much. The second thing I need to announce right now is the giveaway winner for this Brave 6 camera. All you guys had to do was comment on this post right here. Woo! <laughs> and just drop a comment naming your favorite track off the new album. And we're picking Tony.Boat. And he said, dude, Kingdom of Giants killing it. Loving the Stoke from Casey Willax. The Brotherly Love is real. Bleach might be the top song right now. There's no bad jam on the whole album. Keep the dream alive, boys, and stop by Kansas City when you get a chance. I'll have multiple seats ordered for the concert with a shaka and a heart. Legend. So, Tony, first of all, how you doing? Second of all, send me your address, and we'll get you that camera out. Four million streams on the album in the first week. Kingdom of Giants Passenger. Just got to throw that out. Congratulations, boys. That is huge. I'm stoking the best album I've ever heard in my life. If you guys have already heard it, you already know. Kingdom of Giants. <sighs> For the dream. All right, we're still not jumping into this yet. I had a birthday, 30th birthday, big birthday the other day, and I got some gifts from you guys in the mail. I got a bunch of boxes 
from you guys even before that that I just kind of want to clear out because this is like an opening slash gear slash kind of a birthday video still. And the first one is from my mom. First sponsor I ever had sent me two birthday cards. Who sends two birthday cards? Sends a bunch of love and doesn't know what to get me, she says. So she gets me $50 to Whole Foods and $50 to Chevron. If you're a mom and you don't know what to get your kids, two best things you could ever get them, gas and food. Mom, I love you. She also got me, oh my gosh, I will never be able to find it in this room, but a pair of locking ratchet straps and a scale to weigh your luggage. You just clip it on, pull it up, and it tells you how much overweight your bags are. So mom, I love you. Thank you so much. Then we got this box from Be Fresh Gear. <laughs> and I'm claiming it couldn't be more of a daily setup. We got some slaps from Be Fresh. We got a Milt May Pirates baseball card, a Terrell Owens Philadelphia Eagles prestige card, and then the most daily glasses the world has ever seen. Oh, dude, dude, no way, bro. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> Drop a thumbs up on this video right now if you're missing the daily wear. I think this strap goes underneath them, maybe connects them, so when he's on the boat, captaining, they stay tight. <laughs> but be fresh, thank you. Not gonna lie, I'm gifting these to daily as soon as I see them. Then we got Bro Gnarly, sent a pack with some slaps, with some swag, Wow, and with some shades. Tight little case, whammy. Not gonna lie, kinda dope. Wow, white chocolate drink. That's more like a chocolate drink. You're getting. And we got a note. Yo, C-Dub, first things first, you already know you're a ledge. Love your message of positivity and being able to be grateful no matter what the situation. Your message has helped me personally and I know it helps others too. You're constantly providing people with stoke, so I want to return the favor and stoke you out. And the package is two pairs of our gnarly sunglasses along with a tee and a few stickers. This is me thanking you for having a huge impact on my life and reminding me to be grateful no matter what. Not asking for a shout out, but if that's what the universe wants, that would be rad. Our sunglasses are backed by our gnarly guarantee. Break them, lose them, or get stole. Just send us back the enclosed certificate that comes with and we'll send you out a new pair. They're eco-friendly, made with sustainably sourced bamboo and recycled plastic and are UV 400 polarized. Keep being you and keep getting gnarly. Sincerely, the other C-Dub. Heavy from Bro Gnarly. Boys, we appreciate you. What is next? What is next? All right, then we got an actual package from Elliot Guerrero, but I know him as Coglio Knows on YouTube. Homie sent me a four terabyte dreamer, like an actual birthday present. So homie, thank you. I'm glad we actually met in person and you're a complete legend. All right, so the last and final thing I want to break down to you guys before we jump into the gear. It's kind of insane. Before we start showing you all the freshest gear that you can have, I want to make sure that everybody watching this video knows that while you put new gear on your body and you feel good, you eventually end up riding better. Nothing is going to make you a better rider than time on the hill. So you can save your money, rock last year's gear, and go and rip harder than everybody on the mountain. It's a proven fact. But every now and then, I get it, it's nice to dial yourself in with a whole new setup and you look good. If you look good and you feel good, you're gonna perform good. But if you feel good already off the rip, then you're just gonna perform good. And the way that you feel good is by taking care of yourself and somehow over the years of working out and just doing therapy on my body, I've accumulated a couple sponsors recently that are unbelievable. One of them is this Rumble Roller Company, which has these incredible soft but spiky-like little nubs that when you roll out in your body, they make a smaller one for traveling. But when you roll your body out, it breaks down all the myofascia and all the stuff that builds up inside you, releases it and allows you to be more flexible, which then you can go to the next company we have, which is Roll Recovery, and take it to the next level with some crazy tools that they have to put around your leg like this and roll out these parts of your body that normally you can't do just through stretching. And 
even one step further, now there's companies that make muscle guns, which are just a pulsating ball with an epic little end that you can smash on yourself or you can have somebody kind of do, it's like a portable massage therapist that you bring with you just in a gun that you can maybe have TCAP or somebody work on your body after you're done riding and that's how you improve and you feel better. So it's not only getting the right gear, but it's also taking care of yourself on and off the hill, whether you're rolling out or you got stretch pads, all of these companies are linked in the description of this video and you can dial yourself in for cheaper than you ever would have been if you didn't watch this channel somehow because they kick back to me and we kick back to you and that's what this whole entire thing is about. And it's not just the working out off the hill but it's also the nutrition off the hill. If you have your own juicer, the best thing you can do is juice fresh produce to get good energy, to recover your muscles and your bodies and get all the essential vitamins and minerals that you need to feel good and wake up early. But also there's companies like Suja that are now shipping fresh produce to your door. And there's companies like Bulletproof that have all of the supplements you could ever need. If you're into coffee, they have the highest quality coffee that you can get. And they just have an arsenal of kind of upgraded devices that they will help you achieve that next level. So from Bulletproof to Suja to Nanocraft to all of these type of workout companies, all that stuff is below and they're down to help you guys out with a little discount so that you can get yourself completely dialed in for this winter. And the last one I have to say is Armavara Skin Care. Reef friendly, skin friendly, protects yourself from the harmful rays of the sun and is actually amazing. Rubs in great and if you're on hill and you're up at 12, 13,000 feet elevation this winter, you're gonna wanna make sure that your nose is properly taken care of and Arm of Our Skin Care is that company. So we got you set up from inside your body to outside your body to on top of your body. Now we're gonna jump into, make sure that this is clear and concise, my 2021 snowboard kit and gear that I'm going to be wearing. It would be impossible to have all of the 2021 stuff and do a gear review video like that. And also it would be impossible because you would need to ride all of the stuff to actually see how it performs over time. What this video is, is Casey Willax's sponsored gear that he gets for 2021 that I will be repping. And I give you my true and honest opinion on all of it. I do not ride for any companies that do anything that is harmful to our planet. All of the companies that I ride for that I have chosen that support me and hook you guys up and back this whole thing know about our planet. They know about what's good. They have projects set up and they have kickbacks to make sure that money is going back into our planet and into making our winters longer and more sustainable and proper. Some of their products are literally made using recycled plastic and bottles and stuff like candy grind. So I just want to say you have my word. Everything that you see on this channel or in these videos or in the future that I I ever will show you guys or promote is a good company and is in this for the long run. So here we go. We're jumping into one of the heaviest, it's not a box opening anymore because I already opened all the boxes, but one of the heaviest gatherings of freshest gear I've ever experienced in my life. So if you guys don't know, I've been riding for 686 for about a year now. And before I was riding for them, I bought this jacket. Like I say, I support all the companies that I ride for to the point where before they started hooking it up, I was actually buying their gear. And this is the jacket that you've seen all winter long from Japan oh! to Colorado. To everywhere. This is the Wow, I really wish I knew what the name of this jacket was. You know what? I don't know what this is. I'm so bad at all these names. But it's one of the most legendary jackets I've ever had on my body. And this thing's in mint condition still. I wore it all last season. Now this year, Mike Dawson, if you're watching, leave a comment. Are you joking me? We got, we got a lifetime warranty. You gotta give me the name on this thing, dude. The Stretch Gore-Tex Weapon 3-in-1 Smarty Jacket. And I'm feeling like this thing should already be in a three-foot pow day right now. Might be the thickest jacket I've ever felt. <laughs> so we got the blue and the yellow. Then we got these pants that are screaming Storm Row. Yeah! 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 <laughs> yeah, buddy! With now what I'm calling the quick loop, easy access snap belt. Boom. No more real belts on hill. No more shoelaces. The men's 
home pant. Wow. And then here it is, the Meat Wayne. 686 men's hat lap insulated bib. Little backyard hat lap. <laughs> Dude, what? This thing is unreal. And we already have still the Forrest Bailey custom bibs from last year that I haven't even worn yet. So you guys might need to actually decide my outerwear kit for me because this is too much. Then we got the Torque insulated vest. I don't know if it gets any sicker. Dude, what? With a black hoodie under this thing? <laughs> Dude, the gratitude is unparalleled right now. And then the final jacket. What are we calling it? The foundation insulated jacket. You're going to want this in the foundation of your quiver of your outerwear gear. And then, yep, mine as well. <sighs> bada boom. Wow. And bada bing. Dude, the quality, the stitching. This is unreal. Blue and green, we're calling them. We're not calling them anything. These are sick. And then we're wrapping it up with a couple of the best pants in the game. The black and the camo everywhere pant. You guys know I've already been repping the same one for so long. Now they got them in black and another camo stripe. Wrapping it up fully with a four pack of banger socks. 686 coming through. Holy crap, so grateful. That is like, I can't even express I don't even know if I deserve all that. But you guys already know where it's at. 686.com. It'll be a fresh winner. Now, we're moving on to the Candy Grind gear, which all started off as a glove company. First glove sponsor I ever had. Then they just took it to a whole different world. So we got already the best gloves the game has ever seen. The premium goose down. We got the handbag mittens. We got the workman's mitt. But I got to show you. This year's handbag mitt is going to need its own breakdown because if you're a filmer and you need to touch your camera, the opening in the side of this glove allows access to not only get out and do what you need to do, but the quick zip, I'm not going to say anything. Go ask Mike Dawson. He'll tell you all about it. It doesn't even get any better. And unfortunately, we shouldn't be on our phones that much this winter, but if you got to get on your phone and post a banger real quick, the handbag mitten is the best way to do it. The goose down is the second best way for the pow day. What is this? So Candy Grind also makes a super shell glove and that is what tow rope riders should use. It is the best, most durable glove that you will have all season, if not longer, if you're riding tow ropes. And now it looks like they kind of put just a little shell, maybe that you could put over your glove. I'm not sure, but the shell mitten for tow rope is unreal, the super shell. We got a couple of banger fitteds. We got the OG workman's jacket. And then we still have the Avo Apparel C Vlogs Candy Grind collaboration jacket with the CV print up front and the full Avo Apparel on the back. They call it the workman's jacket. This thing, I mean, you guys have seen me riding this for years. <laughs> that thing is unbelievable. Couple fresh tanks, t-shirts, and long sleeves. The long sleeves have the hole in the sleeve so you can put your thumb through and then put it in your glove to avoid those gnarly raspberries. And before we get into the big jackets, I gotta explain this right now. They make something called a sleeping bag hoodie, which is way more like a jacket, but it's, oh, they got it in brown. Thin like you see here, but it's amazing to put a hoodie underneath it and then rock this jacket. And it comes with this bag that no joke, you can fold this thing up, ball it up as small as you can, and it fits into the bag. You can put it on your waist if you're getting too hot midday and you just want to wear the hoodie, strap it to your backpack. But that right there is one of the most game-changing jackets. You can ask Mike Dossie, it's confirmed in the game. And now they got it in brown. What? But I'm still saying this right here is the number one most game-changing article of clothing that Candy Grind has ever put onto the market. It's the thinnest thing in history almost doesn't exist. These are called Soleado hoodies. Somehow, if you're scalding hot outside and you're not wearing a shirt, if you put this on, 
you will be colder. It cools you down. It is the nicest little breeziest top that the world has ever seen. It's got a little front pocket action, bang, bang, and the candy grind, Sole Auto hoodie, best bang for your buck. I know we're getting into winter and that's a little thin, but that's a good fall time jacket. And while we're on it, you gotta know Candy Grind. CG Habitat's Surf makes the best board shorts in the game. 309s are mine. They somehow scored a couple bottles of recycled plastic into the board shorts that they make. We got the final product. I'm saying they're putting Carhartt out of business. This thing is as dense and durable as anything I've ever seen. We're calling it the EF Insulator pullover hoodie. Dude, this is, you could almost, no, it's not really a punch proof, but I feel like you could take a heavier hit wearing this. And then they also hooked it up with the brown. Whew. Just take a moment of grace here, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big gratitude moment. It doesn't happen that often, but when it does, you just need to sit back and just be so grateful that we've gotten to this point. That is going to be my straight up outerwear for the season. Candy Grind or 686, both incredible companies, both super supportive, both kick back to the snowboarding world. 686.com, cghabitats.com. Wow. Now we've gotten the outerwear. We've gotten the body internally and externally. The boots that I will be rocking this season are the Adidas Tactical. And the only reason I'm wearing them is because I already committed to breaking them in. And my biggest thing with snowboard boots is you just want them to be comfortable on your feet and not have pressure points and then just work on your riding. I've already done about a year and a half on these things, maybe even longer, and I'm kind of stuck to them. It takes so long to break in any other boots. I would way rather be on a set of 32 lash, but still the time window to break them all in is so hard. My suggestion to you guys for boots is just find something that fits, go to a shop, put on 20 of them, whichever one feels really good, get them heat molded, throw them in the hot tub, hike at Mount Hood with them, do whatever you can to beat them up. Unless you like stiff boots, do what you gotta do. The bindings I will be rocking are the same ones I've been rocking for the past four years. Absolutely nothing special. Arbor Hemlocks. Some would say one of the flexiest high backs in the game. I don't know. You could be right. Seems like it's pretty flexy, but it doesn't go backwards flexy. So is it really flexy? Who knows? We will be filming with a GoPro Hero 8 because the stabilization is amazing. We still have this one for free from last year and they never hooked it up with a 9. The goggles, we're not going to break into. I have five sets of goggles that you guys have sent me from an assorted group of legends and I don't really know. I don't have a goggle sponsor so I don't really want to say much because I don't know the right fit on my face. I've always had a weird issue with goggles. We can't all be Zeb Powell and not rock goggles, but that would be the dream. But those pow days get heavy. Burn Helmets, on the other hand, is the same helmet I've been wearing for 10, 11, 12 years. How long have I been snowboarding? About 10 years, 12 years. And this is the exact helmet that I always wear. I will always wear it. It's the Burn Baker. We got the discount code for you as well. We might be doing a custom run of Casey Willax helmets this season. I will post about that and keep you guys in the loop as soon as I know. What else is there? Oh, the snowboards. All right, I didn't get my snowboards yet for this season, but I will be riding the same boards as I've been riding the past two years, Lego snowboards. The 155 double barrel is my dream. Everything about it, I just get on it, I feel good, I rip, I don't have to worry about anything. It's a regular camber. I'm not gonna break too much of the board specs down because that's a whole nother video, but 155 used to come in a regular mid-wide in 2020. 2021, now the option is there for regular or an actual mid-wide, so they're separated. I will be on the mid-wide. I used to just be on the regular because it was kind of a mid-wide. The open road 160 is what I will be on again this year. Maybe even the 161 because it's a PAL board. I don't know if this is true, but I think it's set back just a tiny bit. I know that I at least do that with my bindings to keep my nose with some float when I'm coming out of the whitewash. And this is the dream right here. Lego snowboards, double barrel, 155 for park. Lego snowboards, open road, 160 for PAL. They also make a shred stick, which is reverse camber. If you're into that style, I'm not, but still a sick board. That's the board, the boots, the bindings, the gloves, the hats, the helmets, the goggles. The gear, the vegetables, the coffee, the workout. Oh, boys and girls, I already opened it, so the stoke's gonna be. <laughs> you know 
it's probably gonna be real still. But your boys got new beanies in. Are you kidding me? Woo! <laughs> the second round, second generation, second volume of Candy Grind, C Vlogs, collaboration beanies. Hit the comment section, what do we think? Are we going white? Look at the blonde white hits different. Are we going blue? Or are we going black? I don't know, I feel like your boy just kind of maintains the black proper. Candy Grind, we love you. We already got the Avo collaboration jackets. Now we got the beanies, round one, round two. I have these on my website as well. They're claiming way better, more durable. Well, excuse me. Material than ever before, and they're cheaper. We have those on Candy Grind's website, and we also have them on my big cartel. All right, guys, I don't want to make this video too long, and I want to get it up sooner than later, but we have completely 100% destroyed my room in honor of the dream. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys got some stoke out of it. I want to say thank you to everybody who has sent anything and anybody who just continues to support the dream. I finally got a desk up with all of my shipping supplies and everything dialed in, so the game is gonna be different now. Anybody who makes any orders, I will try my best to get them out as soon as I can, but also my brother will be here to hopefully help me when I'm traveling. Just found this random little candy grind note that I have to read. Yo, hope things are well. We're so excited for winter. Products arriving and shipments have been going off. I included the new EF insulator hoodies. They are DWR coated and warm. That's a fact. Also, new Coyote Brown sleeping bag hoodie. Yes. We can't wait to shred with you again this winter. Much love, Aaron and the Candy Grind crew. You. How do you do? Just remember, if you're watching this video, that you can freshen up your gear a little bit by dialing in and spending a little bit of money. I am so glad to be able to hook you guys up with a discount because I know what it's like to be a struggling snowboarder or coming up or be young and trying to get fresh gear, which is why I always throw up the best offers that I can on my website, even for you stuff. I just sold a GoPro 7 on there for like 190 bucks the other day. But I want to just remind you guys that it's about putting the work in off the hill, making sure that your body's on point because it's going to be a lot of things in your life that you can't just buy success or buy progress like you actually got to put the work in you got to show up you got to be on hill get there before nine o'clock get there before eight o'clock put those hours in and make it happen and more than anything love what you're doing and give back to others if you got any fresh gear and your boys need it hook them up that's how this circle keeps going hope you guys are stoked on this video hope to help you out subscribe we're gonna have a bunch of snowboarding videos coming up this winter hopefully pretty soon i'm not really too sure though because i don't have the epic pass yet and there's not really much snow anywhere, but we're stoking. Winter's right around the corner. Drop a thumbs up for daily wear. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And we'll see you on Hill sooner than later. Whew. That's a heavy sentence. Winter's here, boys. Woo!